One and only Larry Manetti. You can email him lmanetti at crni.net. The letter L, Manetti, M A N E T T I, at crni.net. Aloha. Where's Robert Conrad? I miss the Duke. He was your guest today and then yeah. uh, walked out of the studio because he's used to only doing like two segments with yeah. a guest. You kind of like to do the full expose. You like to get into their innermost oh, it's fun. thoughts, right? Yeah, but it's fun. And him and I have a million stories, which means that. He'll have to appear again. He will have to. And you actually put the palm fronds over a hole with mud and water in there, and then they, it was an action scene, and he ran. The hole, the hole was there. We just disguised it. You know, there's a, I'm telling you, I could write a big, thick book. There's a million stories. Yeah. He was a blast. You did a book, Aloha Magnum. Would you ever yeah. do Aloha Black Sheep Squadron? No. A sequel? Aloha. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> What do you think, well, Nancy? But you can get my uh, book on LarryMinetti.com. I have to throw that plug in. <laughs> we'll put that on the spot here. Oh, we got okay. some emails to you. First off, John writes in, wants to know, Larry, do you still own any restaurants? Uh, no, I don't. My restaurant now is my home, and uh, we frequently oh. cook, but thank you. Can John and I get a table tonight? Of course. Thank you. All right, but you had restaurants, right? The Duke I, talks about this yeah, on his show I all had, the time. Well, I had one with him called The Last Run. What was he like as a business partner, you and Duke together? Him and I ate and drank all the profits. <laughs> <laughs> then that was where, up in the uh, yeah, Tahoe area? Up in Bear Valley. Bear Valley. Yeah. And then you had one in Florida, didn't you, somewhere? Didn't I, you? Did I? No, no, I had one in Hawaii. I had uh, three, uh, no, one, one here in L.A., one in Hawaii. What was the one in Hawaii? It was called the Black Orchid with Pat Bowen, who owns the Denver Broncos, and Tom Selleck. And then what about the one in Los Angeles? Yeah, the one in Los Angeles I had myself, and that was a, kind of a sport bar, short-lived. Do you miss it? Would you have another restaurant if the uh, opportunity came? Uh, I don't know. I think I would, but I, I'd really have to give it some thoughts. A lot of work. Definitely a lot of work. Okay, here's somebody. Uh, Alan uh, writes in. Uh, he says, hello, Mr. Minetti. One question. I have always wondered, what is your favorite aspect of acting, uh, of your favorite aspect of acting in Hawaii? What was your favorite part of acting in Hawaii? Getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, every, every day you wake up, and I mean, I was in paradise close to heaven as I'll ever get. So, I mean, uh, the rest came easy. It was a magnificent job. But, you know, I did those two other shows with Duke, and they were a blast, too. I mean, I've been a very, very lucky guy. I thank God every day. All right, Larry is uh, as a question for you, Larry, from Dan. Dan writes in, he says, Will your wife, the lovely uh, Nancy Minetti, who's in the studio, will your wife be on any more of your shows? She seems like a very nice lady and a real hoot. She is. She is a hoot. Nancy goes with me, and she's part of this show. She's a great contributor, and I love her dearly. Oh, and she, honey. Yeah, hi, honey. Hi, honey. So, oh, well, what's going on here? All right. <laughs> Get a room. That's it. <laughs> it's a, glad we separated you apart and put Duke in the middle of you there. That's right. I'll meet you later, honey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Also, Peter writes, he says he's a big fan of the Magnum PI series, and he says there are always, well, here's this question again, rumors of a Magnum PI movie, and again, asking if you think it will happen. Yeah. Peter, write Universal Studios. That's the only advice I could give everybody. I mean, it's... Uh, I'm delighted that you think about it, and we want it as much as you do. So just write uh, Universal and care of the president of Universal and tell him, put us back on the air. We should, we, at least we should do a two-hour movie. Now, Matthew Locke, not to be confused with John Locke, who uh, was on the series Lost, Matthew Locke says, uh, uh, wow, I was just surfing the Internet, saw an article with your email, and uh, forgot how much I like the show Magnum P.I. Brings me back to a golden time of my life. Just wanted to tell you I like it and wish there were TV shows like that still on. That was a golden age that you and uh, Robert Conrad and you guys yeah. started some great series. I, I've, I pinch myself, and again, I'm a lucky guy. I mean, it's, I think uh, you know, I'm not dead yet, obviously. Uh, but uh, I was lucky enough to do television when television was television. Now they got these well, people, these celebrities, that have no talent. And I'm not going to mention names, you know, that some of these chicks look like they're little bobbers that should be on the hood of a car. Bobbers? Yeah, those little things that are on springs that bob around. <laughs> bing, bing, bobbers? bing, bong. Really? Yeah. Any, and you're not going to mention any no, names? No, I'm not mentioning any names. Michael Horn. Now, what about maybe you and Duke getting on one of these reality shows like Dancing with the Stars or 
uh, you know, Celebrity Apprentice or something, I think you two would be very, maybe well, come why as a don't team. You, being that you're the new scriptwriter, why don't you develop something for us? I'm sure oh, both of us Conrad would be Conrad will happy. never go for it. He'll just oh, look yeah. at it and scowl at me and just throw it away. Yeah, well, that would be I have fun. a better chance I'd of you I would to love, sneak it in. I would love to work with Duke again. I really would. I think we'd have a blast. You should take over for, like, Donald Trump on Celebrity Apprentice. You would be great. Donald Trump. There he comes. Look, I knew it. I told you. You annoy him long enough, he will come in the studio. Robert Conrad, sir, folks. Yes, I know how to get him riled up, don't I? Yay! I'm his modern-day Artemis Gordon. I know how to rile him up. He came back in. He came back in. Would you do that again, Duke? Maybe get on a, a reality show like Dancing with the Stars or Celebrity Apprentice? Would you go on that? No, we Duke? could do a script show. What do we need to do reality? Are you answering for me? No. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble now. There we are. Sorry, yeah. Pappy. Sorry, I thought he was talking to me. We got that one more segment coming anyway, up. Maybe. No, I think that stuff is uh, silly. Really? Yeah, don't you? Yes, sir. No, you probably watch it. You're like, oh, well, look at that. I love that yeah. Celebrity Apprentice. I think well, you two Look would, at that movie star. You two would be great. We can watch well, it. She's, she's gained weight. No, is that her? To, oh, you mean if we were with Donald Trump, we'd beat him up. I know. You'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Conrad wouldn't put up with anything. You There'd be a couple of left hooks that. going in well, there. Yeah. Please. Please. Uh, I was just going to say, Donald Trump has the most unique hairstyle of 2000. I like his, but I'll tell you one thing I like about him. Checkbook, you ain't doing too bad. Yeah, that's true. Right, that's a nice yeah. checkbook. Yeah. All right, yeah. straight ahead, we continue. Larry Manetti, Robert Conrad, CRN. It's the PM show.